Hi everyone and welcome to my desk tour. So I hope that you enjoy this. Please make sure to subscribe down below as well as like this video. I do want to just hop right into it. So I have this ginormous desk calendar that I got from Target Dollar Spot and I also keep a ruler on my desk. Next I keep these cards which are amazing. I love all my friends and family that have sent me cards. Next, I have a phone charger here, and I also keep a roll of clear shipping tape, which 10 out of 10 would recommend to help you hold up your phone while FaceTiming or anything else. Just FYI, in case you've never tried it. Then I have my water bottle, and then I keep a lot of my fine liners here, just on my desk. These are the recent ones I tried. They're the Faber-Castell Echo Pigments. I got them from Jet Pens. Highly recommend. I got the pack of four, which came with the 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0.8 sizes. I also have the Pigma Microns that I've had before, and I'm not a big fan of them, so that's okay. Next, I have a Statler eraser, and now I'm gonna show you some of my favorite stationery that I keep in these cups. Okay, so in the first cup, I have these Crayola Super Tips that I use mostly to write on my desk calendar, but also to make drop shadows. These are some zebra brush pens. I believe they're from Daiso. Next, I have this Pilot G2 pen in the size 10 or 1.0. It's really thick. I don't use it very often. Next, I have my all-time favorite pencil. This is the Pilot G2 in 07 or 0.7 lead. Up next are my white gel pens. So I have a Jelly Roll in 08, but I most definitely prefer the Uniball Signo 1.0 millimeter white gel pen. It is amazing and I love it. It takes a little bit of time to dry, but it's definitely worth it. Next, I have a black Sharpie, and then I have this ballpoint pen that has these gems in it, and it's really pretty, so I keep it on my desk. And the last things I have in that first cup are two scissors, and I have this Muji ruler that folds out, and it's really cool, and it folds out to a full 30 centimeters, so it's very nice. And now in the second cup, I have more Crayola Super Tips because why not? These, I usually keep the colors of my monthly theme and this month is like red, white, and blue because July 4th. I also keep some wild liners in there that match my theme in case I want to use those. Okay, so now I also have the Tombow Food and Osuke brush pens. You're about to see of how terrible mine look. Anyways, these are about the hard tips. They're really nice. This one is a new one. Only used it a couple times because I wanted something precise. This is the one I've been using for a while. The nib looks terrible. I'm fully aware, but I intend to use it until the ink runs out. So, Next, I have my all-time favorite gel pen. Highly recommend. This is the Amazon Basics Ultra Fine Tip. It's amazing. Lastly, in this cup, I have some more mild liners. These are the ones I use in my year in pixels in the beginning of my bullet journal, so I like to keep them separate. That's it for my stationary cups. So next, I have my wallet as well as my AirPod case on my desk for easy access. Next, I have a giant stack of sticky notes and post-it notes, which come in handy all the time. I also have this word, word search a day calendar. And I got this at a white elephant party, and I'm not complaining. I really enjoyed it. Next, I have most of my stationery organization, and this acrylic container came from Amazon. And I also recreated the sign from the You Need to Calm Down Taylor Swift music video. Okay, so on top I have my all-time favorite stapler, it's from Amazon, and then I have some tape which is also very helpful, and in this 
old candle container. I keep my washi tapes. This is from Bath and Body Works and I just cleaned it out. So this storage container is from Amazon. Don't know if I already said that, but it's amazing. These are my Artline Sticks brush pens. Highly recommend. Next, I have most of my mild liners that are not already on my desk. And so in the next drawer, let's see, I have the Papermate Flare pens, which I really like for taking notes. And then I have the Stablo Pastel highlighters and some Daiso marking pens, which are like mild liner red buffs. In the next drawer, I have a lot of my brush pens. So I mostly have UB brush pens and Artist Loft brush pens. I also have a few Tombow Dual brush pens that I absolutely love. In my next drawer, I have these fine liners. I don't use these all the time. And I also keep some of the pens that I don't like to be sitting upright in here. So I have like my Posca paint pen and a calligraphy pen in there. Let me brace yourself for this final drawer, okay? It's an absolute mess. I have a, just a whole bunch of stationery and whatever in here. Glue tape, first of all, if you've never heard of this, it's amazing. It's like double-sided tape, but it comes out like white out. I got this from Daiso. This is like the third one I've gone through. I don't know if they still have it. Anyways, I just have a whole bunch of other stuff in here. I have another Muji ruler, lead, page flags, just all the stuff. White out, a mini stapler, mini hole punch, binder clips, like everything. <laughs> also on the corner of my desk, I keep the bullet journal. So I have my old bullet journal, my bullet journal, and also a bullet journal I'm working on for a client. So I got this physical desk from Walmart maybe eight or so years ago and it came with this little topper thing that was like a second shelf but I took it off because it didn't really fit with my windowsill being right there. Anyways, it also has this shelf underneath so I'm gonna show you what's on this shelf. So I have my TI 84 plus CE graphing calculator, highly recommend. The only reason I passed math in high school. It's my absolute favorite calculator and I love it. And then I keep this other little bin filled with a whole bunch of other stuff, which it looks even worse than that bottom drawer of that uh, acrylic thing. So I have another calculator, I have a mouse, paper clips, I have this thing that you like plug into your laptop so you can see your keyboards if you don't have a backlit keyboard like I do. I have a whole bunch of just random stuff. I don't even use most of this, but you know what? It's here. So on that note, I'm going to go. I hope that you enjoyed my desk tour and seeing some of my stationary favorites. Please remember to subscribe and like and comment and all those fun YouTube things.